More than 20,000 flats in Singapore's upcoming Tunga Estate will be able to achieve energy savings of up to 30% thanks to a new centralized cooling system. It's the first for a large-scale residential development in Singapore. SP Group, which spearheads the project, is hoping to roll it out to more estates. Chua Tian Tian explains. It's a common sight around housing board estates, air conditioning compressor units that hang along ledges on every floor. But these won't be at the new Tunga estate, with this cutting-edge centralised cooling system. Instead of chemical refrigerants, it uses chilled water. These flow from rooftop tanks to lower floors, along pipes into aircon units to bring down temperatures. The centralised cooling system is a water chill system and water chill systems are naturally a lot more energy efficient as well. So this is one of the most important things that we deliver as a value proposition, uh, energy efficiency of up to 30% uh, to the residents. To save even more costs, the cooling system will also be powered by energy from the sun. SP Group says it aims to install the system for 22,000 households across Tunga Estate over the next 10 years. So far, about 1,000 households have opted for the centralised cooling since April. We just welcomed our newborn two weeks ago. Uh, we would like to be more sustainable and uh, do our part for the environment uh, in living a better future for our children and the next generation of Singaporeans. It helps we save the, the cost. Uh, and uh, very, very important is convenience uh, and everything is done up for us. To get more on board, future Tengah residents can find out more about the cooling system at this new experience centre by STP Group. Visitors at the centre will also be introduced to this app for future Tengah residents. It allows users to monitor their utilities consumption and even control their centralised cooling usage with a tap like this. The exhibits also give a sneak peek at other smart energy plans such as this EcoBot that tracks power use for each HDB block, as well as future electric vehicle charging stations at the neighbourhood centre. The centre at Topayo HDB Hub will open on Tuesday.